Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm not really an iTunes fan. I don't even have it installed on my Windows PCs. Uh, I don't even like iTunes on Mac OS X. I don't know, there's just something about it that's... I think it's big and bloated and more than it needs to be. It does a fair job at organizing things. And maybe it's because I'm more of a, uh, a music subscription fan, and Apple doesn't have that. They have the a la carte thing, and I'm just not into that. It's so much easier for me to download an album and listen to an album on demand uh, than it is for me to download and buy an album and then have to transfer those files back and forth between various computers. It's just the way I consume media these days. It's very um, disposable to me. The album, once it's digitized, is easily accessible from an account that is a subscription account. Um, and to this point, Apple hasn't initiated any kind of, of a music or media subscription service. So I, maybe that's why I don't like iTunes. I think it's also an old program that is ripe for a rebuild. Regardless, I know a lot of people use iTunes on both Windows or Mac OS X. Um, you know, I, there's probably better tools to manage your media, and I'm open to suggestions if you have them for either operating system. Uh, I've got a top five list submitted by Evan, uh, the top five iTunes hints and tips. Actually, it's a little more than five, as I'm going to read them. He got the inspiration from after I had shared the top five Xbox 360 tips video uh, uh, the other day. And uh, he said that he found these just really by playing around with iTunes. Not really reading any kind of manual or help file, just playing around. You can discover a lot about programs, and admittedly, I didn't know his first set here, and he's speaking specifically in his first tip about the visualizations in iTunes, and no doubt about it, uh, the visualizations in iTunes are awesome. I mean, second to none, awesome. Uh, he's, he says, these are he's got uh, about seven sub points for visualizations in iTunes uh, with keyboard shortcuts. So in the middle of a visualization, you can press Q or W, and that'll change the corridor. A or S, use those keys to change the style of the visualizations. Z and X changes the color of the visualizations. F displays the frame rate. Uh, and if you made a, a visualization you like, you can push shift and a number to make it a preset. M changes the mode, random, user config, freeze the current visualization. O turns on overscan mode. So there you go, keyboard shortcuts during a visualization. Number two, during a download, go to the downloads page under store and click the dash between the file size and it'll show how many minutes it has left and you'll see the download speed as well. So there you go, some stats of when you're downloading things. Number three, say you want to download a song but don't have time. Find the song in the iTunes store, drag the 30 second clip into your iTunes library where you can purchase and download it later in one click. Number four, you can add smart playlists from the file menu. These playlists are self-updating based on the preferences you choose such as how many times a song is played, the year it was released, even the beats per minute. You can also add web radio stations to your library that come with the iTunes radio menu, so you can easily stream them without having to go through a lot of lists and menus. And then he's got another tip here. Want to know what's all free on iTunes? Down near the bottom of the store page, there is a free on iTunes box. This is where I get a lot of my TV episodes. There's new stuff being added every week. He says, thanks, and I hope to see this made into a video. Of course, yes, now it has been. It's a great list. Uh, and he says, P.S., if you already made one like this, it's my fault because I haven't paid, I haven't had much time to watch your 1,000 videos. By the way, that's a great accomplishment. That is true. We've hit 1,000 videos, at least on YouTube, probably done more than that elsewhere. But uh, no matter, great tips list, uh, very popular software, even if I don't like it. Uh, I, I think I'll have to nail down exactly why I don't like it because I'm sure people are going to say, what don't you like about it? No matter, uh, we, uh, we're always sharing tips and tricks with one another, whether it's about software, hardware, internet, and just information in general, whether it's related to tech or not. If you've got any uh, tips to share with the rest of the community, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Whether it's nerdy stuff or not, uh, just information is information. You know, we're all human beings. We all have to deal with things in life that aren't necessarily computers, don't we? I know it's not always... Seemingly so, but uh, yeah, you, you, we do have a life outside of computers. It's not evident, of course, because our chat room, uh, where we're streaming live video and audio all the time, is open 24 hours a day. Well, hence the all the time. Uh, seven days a week, year-round, doesn't matter. We're doing it right now. What are you doing right now? Well, why don't you stop by the, the website and you know just 
join us. You never know what we're going to be doing at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.